Hello everybody, it's I, the Luigi Big Mac, and welcome back to Psychonauts. Last time, uh, a lot happened. First thing first, we completed Mia's, uh, levitation core, so we can now use this, and this. Uh, secondly, Dogen's brain is missing. Actually, actually, no, we already figured that out. But, Camper's brains are going missing. Uh, and once we discovered, uh, what Oleander's up to... You know, stealing children's brains and using them for death tanks. Uh, is, uh, well, Sasha and presumably Mia now have official Psychonauts business they have to deal with. Now, and we ended off the last episode with me grinding for some arrowheads. Which, uh, which I now have enough. Hence why we're in a different location than the, uh... There we go. What else can I do you for? Now, mm, now, you take that psi core there, put it together with nine psi cards, and you'll have yourself a brand That's new psi now. challenge. All right. Oops. Hey, let me take it. Now, I'll take, you take that sold to the big headed kid with the gloves. What else can I do you That's for? That's it for now. All right, so, All right. we, can, go we can go rank ourselves up Come and. Where do all the bodies go? Well, I wonder what happens when I pull out the bacon with uh, the Ford here. Ah, this happens. There's that smell again. I need to regroup back at HQ. Affirmative. Prepare for extraction. Anyways, well, that's uh, well, I wonder uh. What something. are you doing here? You said that girl was waiting for you down by the water. That's lungfish territory, boy. Go and get her. Lungfish territory. What? Well, anyways, let's just let's just do this real quick. Rank up. We are one level away from getting that next thing we need. Well. We have no other option than to go go to the link. It's time to go to the yes. There we go. Bobby. Uh oh. Look, I can explain. Okay, okay. His body's still, uh... Jeez, sounds like you caught a bad cold. Maybe. But listen, I traced the psychic interference back to Coach Oleander's radio. He's been broadcasting his insane plot all over camp in his sleep. So he's really kidnapping children and stealing their brains to make weapons. Yes! Isn't that great? What? How is that great? Because this is an honest-to-goodness psychic emergency! But Sasha's not here. He left on some official psychonauts business. Mia left a note saying the same thing! Lily, a deranged man-man is building an army of psychic death tanks to take over the world. And there's no one who can stop him, except for you and me! Oh my god! Let's make out! <laughs> what? Sorry, I'm just so excited. Since you showed up, Raz, things are so much more exciting. Sinister death plot, <laughs> mad scientists, hideous monsters. Make out? How long have I ignored what this camp had to offer? Everything's new to me now, thanks to you. I mean, look at this flower. You mean, like, kiss? How many years have I been coming here and I've never even noticed a cool flower like this before? Uh oh. Oh, no, you didn't just hit my boyfriend. Oh, she, she, she's now saying that we're facing her boyfriend. Great. Lily. Ah, jeez. Let's get him. I can't. I can't swim. Well, then use the bathysphere at the end of the dock. Quick, while the flipper prints are still glowing. Are you coming? 
I don't know how to drive that thing. Uh, I can't. I have to um, uh, check on the other children. Yes, yes. If the brains are out, they'll need supervision and possibly refrigeration. And how can you not know how to operate a bathysphere? Haven't you ever been to summer camp before? I'll get a move on before that girl gets overly digested. Ah, uh, interesting. Well then. Well then. Rest new objective, rescue Lily. Alrighty then. Every one of these platformers need to have a damsel in distress somehow. But hey, we can access this over here. No wonder why Bobby was blocking us. And we can now finally get another... We have enough cards to make another side... Uh, side core. Uh, our, our side challenge mark. Make marker. Whatever it's called. Anyways... Well, here we are, under the sea. We got clams. Fish. Uh, box, box on nails. More stuff here. They all sound so creepy here. Then again, have you seen some of these deep sea creatures? Very weird. Very weird looking creatures. Some of them friend shaped. Some of them look like that they might actually want to rip. Rip your fucking brain out. Or was it neck? Eh, one of the twos. One, one of the two. Uh... Alrighty then. There she blows. Okay, cough up the girl and no one gets hurt, fish. Man, it's gonna be hard to find a new place to give you lumps. <laughs> Anyway, time for another boss fight. We barely have these in this game so far. Anyways. We just gotta keep... Oh, okay. Hey, get this fish off me. Alright. Anyway, time for some platforming section. <laughs> I like I like how Raz is looking at the uh, lungfish. I mean, you don't want to go too far here, but you don't want to lag behind too much. You just kind of you kind of have to do everything in moderation. But, like I said earlier, we are officially halfway through the game.
Oop, went too far. Ugh, I break the crab's arms off. That is visceral. <laughs> We're just going to walk here. All right, then. Yeah, my only complaint about this boss fight is that the camera angle can be a bit uh, annoying. Didn't mean to break that box of nails there. Well. Let's see. Is there, is there another box of nails I can use? Nope. I could accidentally... Ow. I accidentally broke the one I needed. And I broke that one by accident too. Yeah, it's just a camera angle, man. And then back to this stuff again. Sorry if I'm not talking too much. There's, there's nothing much else to talk about this boss fight other than... Ah, uh, yes, it's, you're just fighting against a giant lungfish. Yeah, luckily the third phase is actually a lot different. How's I, okay, how's I supposed to fucking tell there's a clam there? Anyway, yep, here's the final phase. It's honestly not too hard. This took me a while to fig er, figure out exactly what you needed to do. Essentially, you just gotta... You just gotta... You just basically gotta camp behind these clams here. Good fight. Just a normal sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus lined air bubble beneath a semi dry leg bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Oh, poor little thing. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. 
Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there. Alrighty. Hey. Get, get off. Get, get. Die. Let's see. Kill you. Steal your life force. Thank you. And then, remember this thing we have? Now we're jumping into this lungfish's brain. I wonder what it could be. Now this is where it gets the now this is where the levels get cool by the way. Far top of the morning to you, ma'am. Oh, oh god, he's British. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this? Oh, he's Scottish. Actually, Scottish is based. Posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. Go, <laughs> <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're Godzilla now. <laughs> what about it? Yep, so you basically get the... Your movement is... Yeah, so your movement is definitely not quite the same as, as it is now. Uh, you get to destroy buildings. So that's pretty cool. Like you, Gargalore. He brainwashed and enslaved almost everyone in Lungfishopolis. That stinks. So, hey, have you seen any other humans around here? I'm looking for a girl called Lily. The government archives might have some information about your young girlfriend, Gargalore. Yeah, I don't know if she's really my girlfriend. I mean, I think she. I only meant that she is your friend who was a girl, Gargalore. To access the archives, we must first destroy the broadcast tower Kochamara uses to control the populace. Check. I'll go smash that then. Wait, Gogalore. In order to reach the tower, you'll need to pass through that wall of lasers. But you'll never make it through the lasers without our help. So are you gonna start helping soon? First, I need you to do something for the resistance. Punch a hole in that prison and free my comrades. Kochamara, save us! There we go. Freedom! 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 <laughs> yeah. Now, how about getting me past those gates? Right. We stole the shield power module from Coach Amara. It's too big for any of us to operate, but it should work for you. There we go. New power, baby. So upset Cochamera and all your little brainwashed neighbors? No. I doubt it. Uh, no, no. <laughs> so, knocking down the prison and then breaking this laser shield thing? Nobody's gonna get mad about that and start shooting at me. No! Uh, maybe one guy would. But what is even an entire navy of lungfish against the might and revolutionary zeal of Gargalore? Wait. What navy? Meet us at the dam, Gargalore. For freedom! 
Uh, we should probably equip that, by the way. <laughs> the peaceful city of Lungfishopolis is under attack tonight by a hideous, gigantic monster the terrified citizens have named Gogolor. The Navy has responded quickly and decisively, dispatching its entire tank division to neutralize the creature. Two, authorities say, everything will return to normal or better. Kidnapping human children is good. <laughs> Kidnapping human children is good. I don't think that's gonna work. I don't think that's gonna work. All right, yeah, we can't use that uh, here. Uh... Yeah, so anyway, shield is perfect. Ooh. In the ocean you go! And we have a new power if we go to Crawler. Yeah, fuck your stupid little buildings. Man, it really did a number on this place, huh? Also, we have four trailer uh, look staring at us again. Let's, 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 aha, I knew, I knew there was, uh, something around here. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. This guy needs a duffel bag tag. <laughs> yep. You cannot use levitation here, because you're too big. We, we're having the, we're having the, uh, the Ridley syndrome, unfortunately. And anyway, and just like that, oh yeah, remember that co cobweb duster? We now have that, we can now do that now. So we can put it into action. Excellent. <laughs> I just like I just like how the blimp just or the zeppelin, whatever you want to call it, they're basically the same thing. Yep, bye bye prison. Anyway, we got that now. Also, all right, yes, I. Side blasts don't work on these things. Lungfishopolis under siege. So this coach this go this Cochem Cochamara guy, whatever his name is. He really is uh so he he wow, he basically forced these forced these guys into slavery. That's kinda shitty, don't you think? 
Uh, anyway, we... See, I may or may not have missed a few uh, buildings here. Yeah, also... Alright, we got that now. Also, we can walk in water. Excellent. Anyways. Well, things have gotten a little embarrassing for Gagalore. Recently surfaced information has strongly linked a previously intimidating monster with common lowlife criminal. Earlier tonight, Gagalore broke some of his jailhouse cronies out of the slammer so they could enjoy a night on the town, popping pills and soliciting inexpensive call girls. Well, they're in for one nasty hangover. Our beloved Navy has come up with a high-tech new invention. Trucks armed with hyper-electricity. Kidnappy children do not harm the brains. Yep, so to deal with these guys, use your uh, newfound shield ability to send those electricity right back at them. Anyway... We have this now. Oop. I, I look so so funny holding the uh, the cobweb duster. Anyway, anyway, we know where this. Uh, it's probably yeah. It's probably faster to constantly be dodging. Yep, because I might as well grab the emotional baggage. After all, collect if you collect all of them, you do rank up. And ranking the monsters like you before Gogalore, only much smaller. And what's that supposed to mean, random lungfish person? Ah, missed me. Got it. Excellent. Cool. <laughs> oh my god, I flattened him. Oh god, he's a poor he's in the pool of blood. Ah. Ugh. Oops. Well, let's climb this building and see what else is all, is up here. Outlet store. The destruction and terror continue as the hulking, godless child beast carves a bloody swath through our helpless city. Our noble, all volunteer name <clears throat> has been surprised only by the senseless lust for mayhem that seeps from the twisted black lump of a heart in this creature, still known only as Gogolo. Though it loathes violence in all its forms, the Navy has no choice but to activate its anti-monster turrets, which it guarantees are 100% monster-proof. 
Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah, this is probably the most annoying part of the game. Also. Oops. Maybe don't run in a straight line, idiot. There we go. Huh. Now you see the genius of our plan, Gargalore. First we print flyers. Then we spread them all over town with my flavor. Winning over the hearts and minds of Longfishopolis in as soon as six months. Ah, uh, yeah. Six months? You don't like our plan, you can come up with another one. Yes, we're busy. We have to select cardstock and then find a decent but inexpensive printer within a week. I may or may not have destroyed the, uh, the printing place, so, uh, oops. Yeah, these, yeah, these things are impervious to, uh, yeah, these things are impervious to, uh, to side blasts, but hey. Wow, where are we at? Rank 33? Winning us the game of war. All right, first thing first, there's some stuff over there I want to grab. Mainly an extra life because I lost one to that blaster. And also there's a, uh, there's also emotional baggage here. Also, there's, uh, this cobweb here as well. There we go. Back to, back to the maximum amount of lives we could have. Well, back to, back to causing mayhem and destruction and mayhem into the city. Yeah, this this level's probably one of my favorites just because of how wacky it is. And yeah, just like that, I just dis And here's the other benefit of destroying buildings. They give you health. Hey, we got another ammo up. Excellent. All this is kind of, is starting to kind of annoy me. All right, time to destroy more buildings for health.
So this is what it feels like to be King Kong. Climbing buildings all the time. Actually, this is literally just Rampage. Uh, the you know, the arcade game. From downtown, baby. Oh, man. Yet, yeah, this might be one of the more... I think this is... Other than, like, basic... Other than basic... Bra oh. Oh, wow. I didn't realize we already got our side blast upgrade. Huh. Neat. Our side blast should do more damage now, so that's cool. Yeah, so we still need to find the last, the last two, uh, areas. We're here with the star of the popular sitcom Trouble in the Bubble, Buddy Finn. Buddy, what's your take on the Goggle War situation? Is he just misunderstood? No way! I hate Goggle War! I can't imagine any one of my fans siding with the monster. He hates everything lungfish care about. Air, water, family, the economy. Buddy, you'll be happy to know that the Navy is to oh, pull out what they're most famous for. Airplanes. Airplanes! So rest assured, we can all look forward to Goggalore's imminent death. Just seeing you, buddy, every Thursday night at 8, right here on LBC. Thanks, and I'd just like to add that if anyone kidnaps a human child, they should take it to the abandoned insane asylum. Gogalore, come in. We have commandeered these vessels in your name. We can put them in position to help you cross Kochamara Channel to get to Kochamara Island and destroy Kochamara Tower. The thing is that, um, although we have the utmost faith that you will soon contain the area, Gogalore, we, uh... We just think it best to do where, yeah. We've decided to maintain our position out here. Just until you clear the area of all hostiles. Yep. Yes. For insurance reasons, Gargalore. Yes, that, and for freedom. All right. Well, first, before we head over, oh, now the water is going to. Oh, now the water is going to cause problems for us. Well then, it, I'm going to go ahead, head back to the other area. All right. You know what? Because I am 90% sure I actually missed some stuff. Specifically over there, to be exact. And like I said, this isn't 100%ing, but, uh. But, uh. You know. I. Because I neglected to explore, explore this area. Ow. I could have done this the whole time. Well then. Don't, 
There was a... There was a vault there? Oh, and all Metal Cobweb players. Excellent. Alright, all these things are starting to piss me off. Well, we no longer need the uh, the cobweb duster. I might die here, which is fine. Ah! Wait a minute, hold up. What am I doing? I can destroy these buildings here for some health. Well then. We gotta climb up this building in order to take care of these stupid planes that are pissing me off. Also, there's a guy up, up here we need to grab. And, and, uh, yep, there we go. Well then, let's jump over here. And grab yourself uh, an extra life because we now have a maximum of, of six lives we can use now. We might as well jump around, and grab all these figments while we're at it. I think I grabbed all the figments. Oh, nope. There's one I missed. Two I missed. Freedom! There we go. Only one more thing to do. Well, let's jump off this building here. <laughs> Thank you, truck, for for uh, making my landing not so. Uh... Well, we're sorry to report that the miserable and incompetent lug-faced navy is all but sunk. Great work, losers! Now, Kochamara himself will 
will have to come all the way down here just to save our worthless hides. Authorities are calling for a big parade in Kochamara's honor after he clobbers the annoying giant Gogalore. And if the parade is big enough, Kochamara promises not to destroy the city. Brush teeth more often, don't drool so much. And <laughs> hmm, his stature kind of seems uh, a little familiar, don't you think? This scene, this scene is pretty good. And how is Raz not hurting from that? Anyway, giant monster battle. Give up while you can, I know it's you in there, coach. I don't know what you're broadcasting from, but I'm gonna find out and make you show me what happened to Lily. Camera does not speak giant monster boy language. The only word you're gonna need is ouch. I was in the middle of a uh, of attacking animation. Yeah. So the trick to this boss fight is it's just wave. It's just. Basically, whenever he goes to attack you, uh, use the shield to reflect back at him. The recovery animations in this uh, specific level is kind of brutal. There we go. <laughs> nice job, Dingus. You destroyed the town. People of Montfishopolis, I'm sorry I let you down. <gasps> Finally. Okay, Tower. Get ready for Goggle. And with that being said. Oh, I can't, I can't, I, oh, I can't stand on top of, uh, man, that's disappointing. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. If you guys enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe, uh, and leave a comment, whatnot, you know, drive up that interaction thingy, and I'll see you guys in the next episode where, where we're gonna, 
deal with this tower here. Get get whatever new ability we need from uh, uh get whatever new ability we need from what do you call it? Uh, Ford. And we're probably gonna, and we're gonna be moving on to the best level in the game. Trust me on this. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, wah wah.